white stallion leading the way for his crack battalion, humble in spite of his victories in war. Loved by the people that he protected, blessed in the churches that he erected in those days of yore. Don't you hear the storm? The storm is no novelty at this time of year. Anyway, I've been so busy with the housework, I hardly noticed it. Oh, why didn't you take the shelter out in the field? Look at all this mud. You're a good wife, Martha. I have reason to be. You looked so downcast when you came in. Surely it wasn't just the storm. No, no, no. A fleet of ships were sighted offshore yesterday, love. And I'm afraid this rocky coast will wreck them. And you know what that means? Spoil us from the castle we bought them. They'll kill and rob all aboard. But surely some of the sailors, the passengers, can get out of the ship, get away. Well, where would they go? It might be death ring of the villagers sheltering them. Oh, how terrible. Family matters prevented me from going to the Holy War. Otherwise, I should... Otherwise, you would have crusaded with the best of us. I deeply regret it. The whole of Austria has had great tales of your exploits, Your Highness. I'm certain that you know why I sent for you. You didn't fight, so you must pay. And if I don't get it, my dear Count, your estates are forfeit. Is that clear? Oh, no, no, Your Highness. As a vassal lord of my duchy, you owe me battle service. Or you pay me and stay at home. But I... I... You admit the obligation. But the management of my estates, Your Highness... It must yield you a handsome profit. 1192 was a bad year, Your Highness. Mm, 1193 will be abysmal. Unless I receive every penny one week from today. That is all, Count. You may go. But you, you wouldn't take my land, my, my castle. You stayed at home. That's your privilege. But you didn't pay me compensation either. So I confiscate your property. That is my privilege. Goodbye, Count. Your Highness. Goodbye, Count. Mercy, Your Highness, I beg you. If I had the money, I'd... Get up, man. Money isn't everything. Whatever Your Highness wishes. Service. I thought you understood that. But the crusades are over, my lord. So they are wrong. Our Austrian seas are choked with vessels bringing warriors home. Oh, Your Highness, why, why only the other day... I... Only the other day, one such vessel was wrecked on one of your beaches. I'm no wrecker, Your Highness, I swear it. I didn't rob these ships. <laughs> Never mind about that. Who was on board? Only a few sailors, Your Highness. The passengers were lost at sea. Take great care, Rolf. My Lord. You say there were only a few sailors on board. What did they tell you? Nothing, Your Highness. You see, they were dead. What you mean is that you killed them so that you could plunder the ship. You say the passengers were lost at sea. You don't know whether they were drowned or not. They may have escaped and gone inland. Oh, no, Your Highness. They couldn't. They, they wouldn't know. No, nah, they wouldn't know that Count Rolf was a thief, or a liar, and a murdering pirate. They'd think that he'd come to help them, to find shelter. How could they know that he'd butcher them where they stood and rob them of their last remaining possessions? Ah, you sicken me. But they weren't Austrian, Your Highness. They were English. Are you sure? Now think carefully, Rolf. Absolutely sure, my liege. Come here. I'm trusting you, Count Rolf. Thank you, my liege. 
We are alone in this room. Have you noticed? I appreciate your trust, Your Highness, though I, I shouldn't presume. Other ships of that fleet have been wrecked and their survivors questioned. I have reason to believe that the ship that you mentioned carried none other than Coeur de Leon, Richard of England. The Lionheart? Yes, the man I hate and despise most in all the world. Then I hate and despise him too, Your Highness. I tell no one of what has passed between us. Hunt Richard down as they were a common criminal. Never once utter his name as you destroy him. Bring his head to me, and all will be well between us. Run him to earth like a wild beast that he is. He'll be weak, harmless, crying for mercy in the land of his deadliest enemy. But obliterate him in silence and in secret. I will, my liege. Can he be, Hugo? Where does he come from? That ship that was wrecked, Martha. I'm sure he comes from that. Three miles away? Aye. And I wager he ran the whole three. In a hurry to get away from the wreck he was. Why couldn't he wait till help came? Oh, help? Round here, that means our master, Count Rolf, and his men from the castle. You know what they do to survivors. The good Lord protected him. Aye. Come, Martha. We'll wait in the next room. We won't disturb him. Let him sleep. One thing I do know, he's a gentleman. Aye, a crusader like as not. Several of their ships have been wrecked along the coast. Still, we'll be careful, Hugo. There are knights and crusaders who are well worth keeping clear of. Aye. And you keep your face nice and dirty, Martha. You're far too pretty for any gentleman to see. Oh, I didn't mean that. He is handsome, though. At least he will be when I set him up a bit. I uh, haven't told you the worst yet. What's that? He's English. Hugo, how do you know? Well, when I found him out there under the tree, he was feverish, murmuring things. What things? Oh, not for your ears, my dear. Nobody can swear quite like an Englishman. Terrible as they were. I've heard the French call them Goddamn. Martyr. <laughs> but it's nothing to what the Austrians call them. My life is as good as forfeited, if you give me up. Oh, my lord. Oh, you should be resting. Come and sit here, my lord. You're very kind. Oh, I feel a hundred and eighty. Martyr, get my lord some refreshment. I. We've had our meal, sir. Oh, it was nothing but bread and soup. We're very poor, but there is some left. It sounds food for the gods, dear lady. I'll get you some. Some ale, my lord. That's what you need, some good, strong ale. That will be splendid. I uh, hear the English are great ale drinkers, too. So I believe. Well, your good health and my gratitude. You are not English? Well, yes, in a way, I suppose I am. I was born there, in a little village called Oxford. But I have spent most of my life abroad. I only return now and then to learn the new swear words. <laughs> oh, well, you'd be a knight errant then, sir. You come from that uh, ship of crusaders that was wrecked along the coast last week. Yes. How did you know? Oh, it's only three miles away, sir. Three miles? I must have been running in circles. You fear the Austrians, my lord? The Duke of Austria has no love for English crusaders. But were you not all one in the great cause of trying to save the Holy Land? Sultan Saladin retained Jerusalem only because of our jealous, foolish quarrels. By heaven, this is a banquet indeed. <laughs> because you dined on wild fruits all week, no doubt. <laughs> Just like a husband. And we only married a year. Oh, no offense, my love. There's no cook in Austria to match you. But Knights of the Cross are used to better fare than we. I still have some gold in my pouch. It is safe in the hole, my lord. Behind the brick round the fireplace. It is where we hide our own savings. Well, if it is enough. Oh, we want none of your gold, sir. We have no more love for Duke Leopold than you say he has for you. My friends, if I may not pay you, at least let me have your names to remember with gratitude. I am Hugo, sir, farmer and fisher. And this is my dear wife, Marta. And you, sir? 
You are a great and famous knight? You are my friends, and my friends call me Dickon. Dickon of the Broom. Sir Dickon, it is our pleasure, sir. Don't you worry about your toe. Baby, pick up that sword and fight like a man. All right, what's going on here? He's cut my big toe, Captain. Yeah, and next it'll be his big fat head. Be quiet! You too drunk or something? If we don't find his murderer by sunset, Count Rolf may see about the heads of all of us. Yeah, Captain, on my honor, the point of my spear never went near his toe. I was cutting away the brambles, like you said, in case the killer was... Call me a liar! Do you think I don't know the point of a sword when I feel it? Be quiet or I'll put you in irons myself. Give me your spear. Oh, all right, I admit, I'll cut him with it. Give it to me! No blood. Satisfied? Satisfied? There's the culprit. You're both right. You must have run your toe on the point of that sword. You mean that was lying on the ground? That must be the killer's weapon. Here, who did the fella kill? I don't know. Count Ralph didn't say. Just gave me his description, told me he was wanted in Vienna and was rumored to be in the neighborhood. Pick it up. Oh, it's heavy. But the only person he could kill with it would be himself. For that from overexertion. Oh, I'll carry it. Oh, it is heavy. Oh! What's the matter now? My big toe, Captain. He dropped it on my toe. <laughs> <laughs> Whose lands are these around here, Hugo? Uh, Count Rolf's a dickhead. I do not recall the name. Was he with Duke Leopold in Palestine then? Not he. He found it more profitable to stay at home and seize the lands of those who died abroad. There are many such valiant knights in this world, Hugo. I have a brother with much the same ideas. Uh, here is your gold, Siddiquin, if you care to count it. You count it, Hugo. It is yours. Nay, there'll be so many weights on my tombstone. But Martha and I thank you to be sure. I do not understand. Well, if we were to pay our taxes with such coin, Count Rolf would swear we'd stolen it and torture us for the hiding place of the rest. Oh, he's a lord of that mark, eh? Indeed, sir. And when you are strong enough, it will be wise for you to leave Austria as soon as possible. Would he turn me over to the Duke? <laughs> Whatever profits him best. He already have plundered your ship and killed what survivors he found. A pirate and a murderer, eh? You are right, Hugo. The sooner I am off, the better. Would I had my sword. <laughs> oh, it was a little awkward for me to carry the sword with you to support as well, but I hid it under a bramble bush. It will be there when you're strong enough. I am that now. No, indeed you're not, Sir Dickon. You must rest several days yet. Mustn't he, Hugo? But as long as I stay, I'm a danger to you. Nonsense. Nobody knows you're here. Believe me, friend, you run enormous risks. Some wild animal may disturb that bush and expose the sword. <laughs> By the saints, it's big enough. Then be at peace, Dickon. We can easily check on the sword. I can go there myself this afternoon and see that it's well covered. Woman, are you mad? What will I be doing? You will not be drawing attention to yourself, my fine husband, by wandering through the wood when all farmers have jobs to do at home. You must feed the chicken and see to the cow. I always go through the forest on my way to the village. No one will notice Marta. Bless you, Marta. You are brave and generous. And while you take such risks for me, what shall I do? In this house, Dickon, I'm Marta o' the Broom. Now you can prove yourself as worthy of the name as I must. Marta, no. Yes, my good Hugo. The campaigns of a knight errant bring harder tasks than this. And I shall earn that soup and bread. <laughs> Fine sword. Splendid sword. These two men carried it here in turn, my lord. Uh, I hope we did right. What do you mean? Well, you said not to stop till we'd found the murderer, Lord Roth. But we thought the sword was important. Quite right, Captain. Where did you find it? In the forest, my lord. Near the path to the village. 
Under a bramble bush. Which was I who found it. With your big toe. <laughs> Splendid. You think it belongs to the murderer, my lord? I'm sure of it. Who else but a killer would need such a sword? Who else indeed, my lord? He must be a man with the strength of a dozen men to wield such a thing. They say King Richard of England, him they called Lionheart, used such a sword in Palestine. What is all this talk? You all know that Duke Leopold is the most valiant of the Crusaders. Pardon their ignorance, my lord. Their helmets are too great a burden for their brains. Do we get the reward, my lord? The reward is for the apprehension of the murderer. Get back to the bramble bush and see if he returns. Then the reward is yours. Very well, my lord. Come on, you two. And don't say anything to anyone. You don't want to have to share the reward. <laughs> It's a woman. He's in disguise, of course. A killer doesn't go around advertising himself. No. And he don't shrink himself down to five feet, neither. Nothing can carry a sword like that. Arrest her. Even if he's a woman, Captain? I don't care if she's a gorilla. She knows the sword's supposed to be there. She knows where the killer is, too. You go first. Well, you go. I'll go myself in a minute, and then take the entire reward. Are you looking for something, madam? Can I help? Oh, oh, oh. oh admirable strategy. Mm. You can join my army any time. Let me go. I'm on my way to shop in the village. Is this how Count Rolf's men protect his tenants? From themselves? Yes. Take her to the castle. If you can. I take it that everything is ready, then? All ready, my lord. The block on the battlement. No, no, Executioner, you misunderstand. This is no spectacle to be witnessed by the whole land. But if he is a murderer... Don't tell me how to run my business. This will take place below, out of sight. Very well, my lord. There is one small problem. What is that? The axe. The blade has to be new ground. Well, I implored your office so rarely. I must be careful of kindness in my old age. Never mind. Look at this sword. Aunt Rolf. This is for me? For this job only. Providing you can lift it, you need only let it fall. It's magnificent, my lord. Poetic justice. The murderer's own sword. You can follow your instructions, my lord. Excellent. Have your men bring in the... Let me go! No joke. I could hardly keep in my saddle for Bramble News. Captain! We found her searching the bush for the sword, Count Rolf. Obviously an accomplice. She'll know where the murderer may be hidden. Aye, she will. And we have ways of making people talk, and we shall spare none in your case. Now talk! <laughs> You did not find her? No, Dickon, I didn't. But some villagers saw. Saw so what? She, she's been taken to Rolf's castle. They, uh, they were also talking about you. About me? I, uh, well, I've got to tell you, Dickon. They're tracking down a murderer. The authorities of Vienna want him for three murders. Count Rolf's men are after him now. Do you believe that I'm a murderer? No. No, I don't. Your wife is in deadly peril. We must go to the castle. <laughs> Admit you hid the sword in the bush? I admit everything. But the three murders, Count Rolf. Ah. Actually, there were about fifteen. Fifteen? I witnessed the whole despicable affair. The murderers waited until the Crusader ship was wrecked upon the coast. Then they boarded the ship. And they butchered the survivors. Then they looted the dead bodies of the jewels. I watched them from hiding. By the way they spoke to one another, it appeared that they had been sent by some local baron. Or count. Let me see. I did hear the name. Take him down to the executioner. Hurry! It was brave of you to bring him in. My lord, he terrified us both. He said he wanted to hide in our cottage for a while. Because your men were following him. He even sent out my wife to see if his sword was safe. 
I realize now why your wife would say nothing about you. She was feared for your life. A good helpmate, Hugo. Aye. I will see that your wife is released immediately and you will receive a reward. We ask only one reward, my lord. Name it, but let it not be excessive. I owe a large payment to Duke Leopold and I shall be short of funds. A uh, reward much greater than gold, my lord. Let Martha and I behold this villain's execution. All is ready, my lord. Thank you, Captain. Take this fellow and his fine wife down to see the execution and come back and tell me how it's gone. Yes, my lord. Thank you, Count Rolf. Come on, you two. Just a moment. That's my sword. May I have it with me at the end? When I finish, my friend. You're a brave man, Dickon. Oh, yeah. A lovely fighter like you didn't ought to have to go this way. I have lived like a broom. I shall die like a broom with a clean sweep. One on any conclusion. These peasants have permission to watch this murderer die. There's no room. This sword needs plenty of space for the lifting. Oh, no, no, no. None of you stand correctly. May I? Um, if you advance your left foot. Uh, yes, just like that. Just to there. That's right. I'm obliged to you, my friend. I'll make it quick. So will I. Yeah. <laughs> Hugo. Oh, Hugo, Dickon, you shouldn't have come. There was every chance of your being beheaded. There was also a possibility for the three of us to escape. We had to take the chance. There's no time to explain, Martha, but Dickon has told me who he really is, and we are going with him. I as squire, and you to serve his wife when we reach his land. But first we must pay a call upon the cart. <laughs> Over so soon. The sword made quick work of it, my lord. It was wonderful to see. The sword is yours, Executioner. You've made yourself worthy of it. Together, we will see it does not rust. I ask another favor, Count Rolf. Bring me the head first. It is here. The favor I ask is your three fastest horses. Don't kill me. Don't kill me! No harm will come to you if you do what I say. Take us to your stables and order the horses. One for yourself as well. Nobody will stop Count Rolf and his executioner escorting two informers home. I'll do it. I'll do it! I to know that my peasants would betray me, Your Highness. You couldn't inspire loyalty in a worm. You failed me. I don't like failures. You let him get away. Well, perhaps it was a mistake, Your Highness. Uh, made by me, no doubt. No, Your Highness, but perhaps he is what he says he is. Dickon of the Broom. Idiot! Of course that's his name. Dickon is often the way they say Richard in England. But yes, yes, I know. There are many Richards. You don't speak Latin, do you? No, I thought not. His father, my dear Count, a chief of the Devil's Clan, Henry II, always wore a sprig of broom in his hat. It was his badge. And to the educated, a sprig of broom is known as Planta Genesta. And for those who don't speak Latin, it's shortened to Plantagenet. Plantagenet? Exactly. At last, it's beginning to dawn. You held in your hand, my dear Count, the Plantagenet King, Richard of England. I'll get him, Your Highness. He went to see me twice. See that you do. 
or your estates are forfeit. Track Richard down before he leaves Austria, or by heaven you wish you'd never been born. <laughs> Humble in spite of his victories in war. Loved by the people that he protected, blessed in the churches that he erected in 